Ew, they also crawl on walls. Leapus can get a little scary. Watch out. Oh, here we go. Is this the tree? Oh, God, it's on me. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria Calamity Summoner episode. We are back. I disabled the texture pack, and I also disabled the Calamity resummon workaround, aka the mod that allowed me to, you know, just click, and then the summon would reset over here. Apparently, that mod made it so I couldn't summon the same of two. Why are these dudes jumping? You guys, they're hyped for something. Yeah, apparently, it wouldn't let me summon two of the same Calamity summon, which is kind of annoying because i could have been rocking the double belladonna but uh the game didn't want me to have that type of power so that mod is disabled we also turned off the uh, calamity texture pack i don't know if i said that already but that thing is gone get it out of here but yeah we're gonna get started here we got some goals lepus crabulon maybe the eater the eater has our next summon so that might be a, a must a must do boss in this episode but yeah let's get to uh lepus i guess do i need any certain requirements for lepus daytime that's it all right good um we have our arena lepus isn't the craziest boss so we shouldn't have too much trouble oh look i have voltaic jelly we picked this up at the when we killed the clam in the last episode or when we killed the voltaic jelly or the ghost bell whatever the hell the name of the enemy is next to the clam we got this it gives us plus one minions so i think this is a must a must where okay i think it's daytime it has to be it's just raining oh yeah the sun is out to the left let's get to it just killed a piggy so we got some bacon here sweet but uh let us take on lepus i don't know what i'm rocking here let's do belladonna uh one one crab well, one more belladonna i think that's perfect let us do it okay there wasn't even like a noise or anything lepus just straight up spawned okay let's get to it though uh the audio for me is super loud hey can you guys kill that egg yep thank you just kill lepus i don't care what lepus drops i just want lepus dead that, that's about it i can care less what it drops no this isn't a consolario playthrough this is a calamity playthrough let's knock this boss out of the way lepus can get a little scary watch out it can land on us it can summon like how many like three of itself uh, so we gotta make sure we destroy the eggs it's got the little ground pound which actually does do damage holy taking a little bit of damage you can't get too close but i'm making sure i destroy all the eggs you know what let's rock triple belladonna because the hermit crab he fell down a platform and he's not even helping it's looking like platforms are lepus's weakness though can you hit me down here oh you can okay but this fight is nice and simple legit if you don't let any of those eggs respawn anything you're chilling all you have to do is worry about one lepus having summons makes this way easier because i only have to focus on just like right clicking and dodging easy let's see what kind of goodies we got from lepus here we got a, a star is gift enemies have a chance of leaving chocolate eggs on death broken eggs drop some life hearts and mana stars not bad we also have another egg to spawn in lepus again we got lepus trophy boots of a star uh this a star set is actually kind of cool it allows the word to perform a bunny hop so i'm gonna open up cheat sheet here just so we can see the full a star set uh, five percent increased movement speed five percent increased movement speed five percent increased movement speed allows the wearer to perform bunny hop don't know what the set bonus is i'm not gonna spawn it in for the set bonus but yeah it's a, it's a cool little armor set I, I really like that console area adds in all the console stuff and all the mobile stuff and all the 3ds stuff and everything because you know it makes it feel like you're not left out even though pc gets the most love why not get all the love and leave all the other console and mobile people in the dust all right so we need to take on crabby next year um so we need to make this decapodita sprout uh, i'm hoping that's how you pronounce it 25 mushrooms i don't think i have that i got six does that work can we make a deal here can i get like a discount on this Oh, here we go. 38. Sweet. Exactly what we needed. Where do you craft this at? It's Demon Altar, isn't it? Of course it's Demon Altar. Look, it's another piggy. Do I have a merchant? So I made houses really far away. <laughs> because uh i have an npc in here that sells pylons and i kind of wanted to treat the npcs like that but we have so many modded npcs in here that it might be a little hard to get the pylon npc to spawn in uh, just because we're gonna like have like 30 extra npcs from mods but yeah let's get to a demon altar and then after that we need to find a mushroom biome a decent one this is a decent sized one make a decent arena and take on crabulon and also make sure to not throw away his lore i've been throwing out the calamity lore and who would have known they may Made the lore not useless i wouldn't have known i don't read patch notes at least not for calamity i haven't done a calamity playthrough or i haven't done a modded playthrough in a minute 
So how would I know? Yeah, I'll make sure to get my hands on a bunch of the lore again. Fight all the bosses again. We are down here in the mushroom area. Let's get to it. We're going to rock Triple Belladonna. Uh, I know it's kind of boring rocking the same summon over and over, but the crabs and even the, the storm jaw or storm lines, they get stuck on platforms and then they just don't do anything. And having that happen in the middle of a fight, it's probably not the best. But uh, let me make like a nice, if I ever need to run over here, let me make like a nice exit area. Uh, because you know it's still mushroom biome over here but just in case i need to run or something because i know Krabulon can get chaotic but at the same time Krabulon isn't the hardest i don't know we're, we're about to see I, it's not like i have much to work with uh, in general here this mushroom biome is kind of weak but yeah let's get to it we're gonna buff up spawn them in let's get to it and hopefully my summons do work hey is that the goblin what is he doing here hey you want to help out there you go you can help us out <laughs> That's a extra summon right there, a human summon, or I guess a, a goblin summon in this case, not a human, an NPC summon. So uh, hopefully he throws in some spike balls. But yeah, as you can see, it gets a little tight here. I'm trying my best to juke out the shrooms, um, but sometimes it can get dangerous. Like we might mess around and get stuck on something and uh, Krabulon can have his way with us, uh, as weird as that sounds. But let's let's do our best here. I'm trying my best to just dodge all this. I'm gonna stay near the goblin because maybe he'll kill some stuff. But we gotta be careful. Okay, my game kind of lagged when the goblin died. Did not like that at all. Other than that, it's looking very good. It's looking very good. We still got a lot of health. There we go. Fight is over. That that fight is kind of scary. A lot scarier than the old Krabulon. No, old Krabulon, he, he just kind of sat there while you beat on him. This one, he spawns in like a million things while you beat on him. We got the lore here. A crab and its mushrooms. A love story. It's interesting how creatures can adapt and give certain, given certain circumstances. Favorite this item to gain the mushy buff while underground or in the mushy mushroom biome okay what does the mushroom buff do it increases def okay nope increases okay increases defense and life regen there you go it, the hot bar kept moving look it keeps moving uh, however your movement speed will be decreased while in these areas due to being covered in fungi that's fine i guess i don't know we have hermes boots it's not the worst thing yeah there you go he's dead i did have the extra escape area because i had a feeling i had a feeling that that fight was gonna get wild but i think the goblin tinker kind of helped us out killing some of those spores but yeah we're good to go what is that mana jelly is this useful for something okay that's actually not the worst hold up have i been here i don't think i've been here <laughs> This is, a, this is a free chest. What's in it? Oh, th this thing is useless until 1.4.1. All right, I'm down here looking for my final the heart crystal, life crystal. And a toxic downpour falls over the wasteland seas. Uh, there's a chest over here I'm going to get first. But I believe this means we go to the sulfur seas. And then we're going to be able to uh, get our hands on a new summon weapon. I didn't really get to look at the wiki that much for everything else. But I know that we can get a summon weapon from this. But first... Let me just grab this chest. Wow, thank you. Another one. I really need to get my hands on a mount of some sort. I don't know if uh, Clamdy has any early mounts. That or I just need to find the fisherman and then do five fishing quests. Boom, get the bunny. Because uh, sadly, obviously, we're not playing 1.4. I can't just get my hands on the flamingo for uh, getting things in my bestiary. But hopefully, we get our hands on something soon. Because it's a little hard walking around. Hey, look, it's that wolf and drone that i uh, probably seen like 30 times. But not the other one. Not the one that I need. Why would I see the one that I need? Oh, look. Umbrella hat. Nice. All right. We are coming up on it. Uh, look. It's another wolf from drone that I've seen already. Hopefully, this thing isn't that dangerous. I don't know. I'm going to rock the double or triple belladonna. And hopefully, they keep me safe. Because I have a feeling that this, this, might be, this might get a little toxic. And not because it's acid rain or anything. Yeah. We need to kill these enemies. Hold up. Some music bumping. Let me turn this shit up. Sounds like I'm in the club, bro. We got the hold up. Turn down everything else, bro. We listen to the music right now. This shit is bumping, bro. <laughs> I don't know if this is DM Dokuru, because I know DM Dokuru, Dokuru stopped working for Calamity, I think, or stopped working on Calamity tracks. Something like that. I don't know. My information might be wrong. But if this is some more DM Del Crew, which I think it is, this shit is bumping. You know it is. But yeah, we're trying to get these sulfuric scales. Because if we put them in here, boom, right here. Caustic Croker Staff. So we need 20 of these and then 15 acid wood. Don't know what the hell acid wood is. Assuming it's something we find in the water here. We gotta be very careful when entering the water here. Uh, I'll put on my little amulet and hopefully that helps out a little bit. Hey, can somebody come kill this leech right here? 
This leech is trying to get me. Somebody get it. Oh, God, it's on me. It's on me. The leech is on me. These leeches, they're, they're kind of dangerous. They move really fast. I'm not trying to die. I'm not trying to die. I'm really not. I'm fine with sitting over here and waiting. Hold up. What's this? Who the hell is this? Nuclear toad? We're playing nuclear throne. He looks like an enemy from it. We got a couple of toads over here. Let's get their asses in. They think they're safe. They thought they were safe. Oh, no. We got the desert music playing. I'm going back. I'm thinking maybe. Oh, look. We can build a caustic tier, which uh, does the rain again. But yeah, let's build some palm wood platforms here. Let's see if I can just like, go over the water just to see if I can snag any easy pickups. Uh, hopefully, I don't get assaulted. Okay. No, we're good. What is that? Thing? What are you? Eel? Eel. More like eel instead of eel, bro. I definitely think the uh, sulfur sea is probably one of my favorite biomes added in by like a lot of mods. There's something about it. This and the abyss. It might just be the music, but the abyss is also a cool ass idea too. Because uh, I really do like fish enemies in Terraria. Fish enemies, fish themed weapons, you know, that's, that's one thing that I like. Okay, we're getting very close to finishing the event here, uh, which is very nice. Allows me to maybe explore and see things down here. I don't know. I guess we'll see in a second. Watch out. This leech is coming for me, bro. The sulfuric skies begin to clear. Beautiful. We got this. Parasit accepted. Cool, I guess. <laughs> but uh, what is this stuff about sulfur wood? Hold up. We can turn the volume back. This is also another bumping track. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and see if we can find this uh, wood down here without dying. Please, without dying. This is dangerous, bro. What is this? Is this a chest? Oh, it is a chest. A broken water filter disables natural acid rain spawns. What does that mean? Hold on, I'm about to die. Oh, here we go. Is this the tree? I didn't even know that this goes this far to the left. <laughs> this is the tree we're looking for, baby. Yes, sir. Okay. See, it's good that I noticed that really quickly because uh, I was a little, a little close to dying there. So if you're a treasure, okay. Somebody told me like the best way to farm some gold is fight the desert scourge and then sell everything it's it drops or not what it drops but uh well, i guess you are selling everything it drops if you already have what you need but like you know how the desert scourge drops like the fishing crates or whatever you sell those and you make a bunch of money that's what i'm assuming these are like i don't know just that just these are, this is just giving me gold and a co coating is that how you say that and co coating okay can we make this gap i don't know how much wood i need but kind of scared to jump this gap we should be good though okay we're good we're good watch out here we got a nasher okay he just walked right past me he's still gonna die anyway because he's still gonna die anyways because the belladonna's are ruthless there you go that's all the acid wood i have can i like replant these i'll replant them i don't have a problem with this this better not be acid right all right we're back home let us go ahead and pop open our treasure bag here boom what's in it i don't know i said boom before i even opened it boom there we go uh we got this right here the fungal clump someone say a fungal clump to fight for you the clump lashes on the enemies and steals their life for you nice accessory but yeah let us craft this new summon boom caustic croaker now if this is a ground unit let's hope that it's a better ground unit as in doesn't get stuck on platforms and get stuck on walls because that's the worst thing about ground units they even get stuck on platforms like if i summon him down here you think he's coming up here on his own absolutely not oh hold up is this our first century i think this is our first century because look i don't know why it's all the way over there but it's our first century why is it over there what the fuck i didn't move it or anything we got our first century let's see it in action come on give me something to fight get him <laughs> get his ass no is he shy he might be shy it's fine uh i don't know how i assist him wait hold up that fish bring the fish down here yeah get the fish come on don't be shy this might be one of the worst centuries i've ever seen in any mod but like god damn centuries are pretty bad in general but this this thing is terrible, especially since you have to do it all the time. Like, what the heck? I, I can see there being a usefulness, though, for certain enemies. Uh, maybe, like, Goblin Invasion. Maybe even the Eater. Maybe it isn't that bad. I don't know. I guess we'll test it out on the Eater. All right, here we are. I got my little underground corruption arena. I was going to fight him above ground at first, but I was like, nah, let's just do it underground. It's easier. And, uh... I don't know what combo I'm gonna rock. Probably mostly Belladonna's. Uh, say hello to my zombie. Because I just had a blood moon and boom, bada boom. We got a zombie pet from Consolaria. He looks cool. Yeah, let's get ready to blow stuff up here and let's get it. It's time to get it. Boom. There's the croaker staff. I'm just gonna target. 
the eater and hopefully my minions are going in croaker staff do your job just do your job as simple as that just explode it it's not exploding come on you got one job i can't even summon you on platforms there you go good hit keep on doing that just keep on doing that if we keep that up this is a dub okay the crab i'm gonna do something the crab the crab is doing absolutely nothing as expected as i saw it running back and forth uh the croaker staff also not doing anything like <laughs> all right i don't get why the clammy summons do that so often i don't know maybe the vanilla ones do it in 1.32 i just never done a vanilla 1.3 summoner because that's like torture but yeah the croaker staff it was doing something here and there i i don't know i still i'm still gonna have my harsh opinion on it just because it seems like uh, too much to do as with the century like i know that we don't have a whip in this playthrough but like i don't want to keep having the summoning this thing <laughs> i think the dodging is enough for me in this playthrough uh, i don't want to have to maintain summoning in this guy over and over again i don't know why like, he doesn't just stay permanently and then just have like a cooldown every time he explodes i don't know but this fight is going pretty well obviously theater worlds i don't expect to lose uh, that was a good croaker hit right there blew him up like right when you ran into him come on come on get some shine in there croaker i'm trying my best to make you look good you're making it hard though you are definitely making it hard there we go the destroyer has been defeated and because we killed the destroyer we are able to get our hands on in another staff this next staff you know it's not the worst let's read the lore here though we got two things of lore uh favor this item to prevent hive sis from spawning okay that's not bad uh we haven't really fought that boss yet so there's no point in even using that and then this one gives us deadly microbes that spawn around us while this item is favored this one might actually be useful i favored it does it however you will have decreased life regen due to your skin running off see people told me that these were good but they also have a uh, negative effects so define good it's like i can have a million dollars but i can have all my bones in my body broken it's like does it really is it really good <laughs> it's like i can have a million dollars but i could die of a heart attack a heart attack tomorrow it's like are these effects really that good okay but let's see here pop up in the bag i don't even know why i popped that open we didn't really need to but the main thing here is shadow skills we take the shadow skills we put them in here and we find our next summon weapon there it is a vile feeder summons a baby eater of souls to protect you i don't know if this is the one somebody was talking about some sort of corruption or crimson staff that was really strong i don't know if it was this one it might be i guess we'll see i don't have 20 ebon wood uh but thanks to mods we should be able to just convert our wood into ebon wood somewhere maybe here at the living loom yes sir maybe i should get my hands on the crimson summon too to see if it's any good i don't know you guys let me know in the next episode well i guess i could do it right here we can switch it right here boom vile feeder oh mystic not bad let's see this in action though one two three that's all i have uh let me desummon everything take the clump off i wasn't even wearing my full armor set which goes to show you that like clam summon is not too bad oh there you go there's an enemy okay they don't seem too bad they don't seem too bad they shoot little projectiles too oh my god these these little dudes they they might be doing they might be on to something bro they seem pretty good i think it's only fair to end off this episode that we check out the crimson version uh so let's do this how many oh no i threw a puff <laughs> no all right after that mishap i'll fix the rest of it later i think it looks how it looked before uh let's let's make the crimson version nine tissue samples and then five bars how much does how many crimtain ore do we need okay there you go and then what else do we need probably the wood shade wood i don't remember how much it was was it five <laughs> was a five ten twenty all right there you go twenty and now we should be able to make it boom scab ripper ouch that that sounds a little bit more scary than uh damn is mythical too or no we got mystic but yeah that sounds more scary than a vile feeder let's see this in action it does way more damage uh boom get rid of that let's see him in action ew scab rippers and then they're little tiny bugs that rip off scabs ouch okay they fly around like the spiders that's also very terrifying i like how they all run together including the zombie ew they also crawl on walls down here we're, we're in the underground desert because i can't find any enemies on the surface this is nasty bro get him 
Okay, the damage seems okay, but maybe it's because I'm just fighting ant lions. Uh, and they might be a little tough, but I don't know. Their damage is way higher, so I expect. Oh, damn! They insta killed that worm though. If we ever fight a boss where there's background walls, these guys might be a threat. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode off here. We got a lot of done. We got a lot done. We got a bunch of summons, new stuff. There's probably more new stuff when we get our hands on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 2,000 likes. That was that was too easy for you guys. I think we gotta do 2,500 likes, and then I'll get working on the next episode asap thank you for watching follow my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 i'll see you next time